The wind is really nice, it's not too hot. Uh, no, YouTube, I got a channel. Yeah, what's up? This your yeah. boy. Okay. I'm, like, located downtown at the boat. Go around, cause we doing something. Don't go <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah. What? Another win. Let's go. Before you eat that seafood, you better record that seafood. Before you eat that seafood, you better take a picture of that seafood. Got our, got our drinks. Wait, is this thing on? Is it? Is that? Them the baddies. What's up, baddies? Y'all already know. Welcome back to the channel. This week we in Shreveport. LA, Louisiana, don't play with it. The boot, my second home. Y'all already know what's up. Like, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna go to the casinos out here. We're gonna get some seafood. I'm ready to turn up. Let's go. Pull up with some baddies in the new bins. All day ones, no new friends. Booty lip, 30 inch. All we do is trap, do the money then. Baddies, baddies. Today we are on the way to Shreveport. Um, I say I finally did it because I knew one day this was gonna happen, but I finally forgot my memory card at home. Vlogging has definitely been an adventure for me. And one of the things I found is that you just have to come prepared. So I'm shooting right now on my iPhone, but I have a backup memory card. I'm gonna put it in my camera and switch over. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show y'all some of the, the pre-hiccups that we go through while editing, but we are on the way to Shreveport, Louisiana. So we're on the way to the hotel now to check in. Um, but let me switch over. I'm gonna tell y'all about everything. Let me switch over to the camera and we'll be back. <laughs> okay, baddie, so now we are live in the action. I'm shooting on my Canon now. So like I was saying, tonight we are planning to go to a steakhouse. And then um, tomorrow, I'm planning on eating some really good seafood. Y'all already know Louisiana, one of the things they are infamous for is their seafood. And um, I did not, we went to New Orleans a couple weeks back. I have those videos on my pages. And when I was in New Orleans, believe it or not, I was ripping and running and doing so much stuff, y'all. I didn't even get a chance to eat any good seafood. So I'm excited that we're going to Shreveport this week and we're gonna get to get some seafood. Um, so we are currently on the way to the hotel. It is storming right now. So the weather is like crazy. I'll show y'all just like this rest stop that we're going past here. This rest area is like packed. It's storming outside. Traffic is crazy. Um, so it might take us a little bit longer than a few hours than we were expecting. I normally like to fly for reasons like this, but when you're kind of doing a quick little one, two, in and out trip, you kind of got to go with the flow. But so we were driving, I, oh Lord, the water's like really crazy. Up. But I am, we are planning to do a few different things. So we're gonna have some good food. We wanna go to, um, or he wants to go to the casinos that they have out there. So I found this little cute riverboat casino um, out there. They have some really good river, uh, really good casinos, but I kinda wanted to do a riverboat vibe. So we're gonna go out to a riverboat casino while we're here. Um, and I'm excited, so I'm excited to eat the food. We're gonna um, be doing some fun stuff. But I am gonna pick you all back up once we get to the hotel, maybe do a little room tour. Um, and then I have to quickly get ready because we have dinner reservations for tonight at 7.30. So we're gonna hope, we might have to change that to eight with this traffic, but we'll see. I'm gonna pick you guys back up when we get to the hotel. Just crossed over the state line into Louisiana. 
This is crazy, y'all. We've had to push the dinner reservations back multiple times. Traffic has just not been on our side. It's pushed back our travel plans by like an hour and a half, y'all. Like, this is how crazy it is out here. And I'm pretty sure that loud noise y'all hearing is hell. Hell is hitting the car. That's why people are pulled over under that bridge. So I don't know y'all, we'll see. This is crazy. So the rain and the weather was so bad y'all. Huh? We could not get to the steakhouse by the time they closed. And get to the hotel and get ready. So if somebody could just please explain to me how we went from a five-star steakhouse dinner to now being in the McDonald's drive through and I don't even eat McDonald's okay McDonald's is nasty y'all these are the puddles of literally water Shreveport is crazy coming to Texas Roadhouse unfortunately and I do say unfortunately because I really wanted to go to the steakhouse tonight all right we're going to the room just want to give you guys a mini room tour and do some editing and watch Batty's list. After I get done editing, probably gonna take a nap and then 
he wants to go to a casino and then I just want to go get some seafood. So, I'm going to pick y'all back up later. Peace. Okay, baddies, so I just got the napping and editing for a few hours. We are now, I'm about to get ready. We are now about to go get some seafood. We're gonna go, um, I'm excited. We're gonna go to the casino and get some more footage from the casino. Y'all already know I'm not a big gambler, so it's probably gonna be just a quick one too. But, you know something while we're here in Shreveport um, but I'm excited we're going to this seafood place called Laughing Crab they had um, I put like a little over there but they have really good reviews like on Google so and the seafood looks really really good so I'm excited I'm about to just I'm not gonna fast forward this next part cuz I'm just gonna be sitting here and getting ready y'all already know I'm not gonna give y'all no makeup tutorial like I don't really wear makeup that much so it would really defeat the purpose but I'm gonna probably just speed this next part up get ready and then we are gonna come back so okay I just wanted to show y'all that outside the Delta Downs. It's like a racetrack right here. The horses was out there this morning. They was, I guess, training them. But we finna go now. Now I know the fans at your bitch shit. Now I'm back with a motherfucking vengeance. Say no how stop that. We gotta stop and get some cash. Look. Forget a first date, just take me to Chase. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> YouTube, I got a channel. That yeah, was up. This yeah. up, boy. Okay. I'm, like, located downtown at the boat. Go around. Are we doing something? Don't go around. Hey, go around. You got me. This repo. We ain't yeah. down, downtown. <laughs> this shit don't work. Oh, I like them glasses. Thank you. Your own swag, your own style. Th thank you. Hey, what's, what's you got the YouTube app on your phone? Y'all, we out here getting followers in Shreveport. For the Shreveport. We got baddies in Shreveport, y'all. Like, it's good. I'm gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna be on YouTube. I'm telling you, I got you. You finna, you made the cut. He made the cut. We need a million views. Okay, there you go. He said we gotta get them views on. Yeah, B8. Daddy with two and don't play with it. Hello. I'm hood famous now. I made it to YouTube, baby. Okay. Just how you like, baby. I'll let you taste later. I love when you're me.
I don't know, y'all. I need the penny machines. Like, I'm not finished putting all my coins up in this casino, okay? <laughs> she said the penny slides downstairs. I start seeing one credit, one dollar. I'm like, that's too much. I need something like more of my price range. <laughs> so I finally found a slot machine. It's a penny slot. It says one cent, one game. So, or one cent buys one credit. So this is what I like. I like the penny slot machines. Like, I'm gonna just sit here and drink. Might as well sit here and drink on the penny slots. But y'all know I don't really gamble. I'm just like, when in Rome, you know? So, probably gonna speed this next part up, but we just gonna sit here and play this time machine so we don't see if we win. Um, can I have some money? <laughs> Alright, so, they got my credit up here. Bet one cent. I'm playing one line and don't play with it. Okay? Alright, so we literally just gonna sit here and press this button. Y'all know how it goes. Riverboat, but it really is a riverboat. This is cute because I was like, they just saying it's a riverboat. Because when we walked in, we didn't see nothing that was giving boat, so I'm like, okay, but it really is a riverboat, so you could get in from the side right there. Okay, this is cute. Okay, Betty, I wanted to bring y'all up on the boat. Show y'all the view a little bit. We're up on the third deck of the casino boat or river boat casino. How would you say it? I even think there's another deck you can go up a little bit further. Back up, y'all. We back up, baby. Let's go. Bye, nah, yeah. Let's talk. Yeah. What? Another win. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's see how much this dollar. 
machine T. Let's go. You just gotta sit here and ride it for a little bit. So what is that? Ten. Ten and some change. Okay. All right, I double my money. I think that's okay, baddie. So we just left the casino. Now we are on the way to go get some seafood. The Riverboat Casino was cute. Like I said, it has three levels. You don't even know you're on a boat unless like you walk outside because when you walk in through the front that they have connected to the hotel, it's just walls. Um, but it was cool. It was a good vibe. The casino is laid back. It's chill. Everyone was like in casual wear. Um, like any casino, they give you drinks for free if you're gambling, but y'all already know I say the drink's not free. You're just putting the money in the machine and tipping the waiters instead of paying for the drinks. But um, I didn't lose too much money. I only lost like $15. So for the experience, and we didn't have to pay to park, there's a self-parking garage like almost directly across the street from the Sam's Hotel. That was really nice because in I feel like in Dallas and Houston, everywhere we go, like you gotta pay to park, especially if it's downtown. Unless it's like the weekends or something after like five or seven, whatever the time is free you're gonna pay to park so that was really nice we didn't have to pay for a parking but yeah y'all i'm ready to go get my grub on and go get some of this seafood <laughs> like that's one of the things i love coming to new orleans i mean not new orleans look <laughs> that's one of the things i love coming to louisiana for is the seafood so i'm ready i'm gonna see y'all at the seafood place peace Oh, this is cute. That's so cute. Okay, so I'm going inside the restaurant now. Oh, there's like a little inside area. This is cute. I still have the keys to like walk, walk, and stuff because everybody's like looking at you because you got a camera. Well, I guess you yeah, I know that's the problem. I can't have this music in my background, so. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's so warm. It feels so good because it's so cold in here. Okay, thank you. Our waitress is so cute. If y'all come, ask for Jada. Oh my god. This feels amazing. Like, I'm so cold, so this feels so good. Yeah, let's get into the seafood. We can get into the seafood in a minute, but I'm just so cold. I'm just like taking in the heat. Just now leaving laughing crab which it's funny that that's y'all's name because it's really laughable so I think for me I went in with higher expectations than I should have the food was good it was seasoned if you're looking for a vibe inside is a vibe it's a real cute little situation um I feel like the best seafood is in Dallas and we're gonna do a video for Rock and Crab. The best seafood, if y'all want seafood and y'all in Dallas, Texas, is Rock and Crab. I go to the location off of Royal Lane. When I tell you I have not found nobody who can make seafood better than Rock and Crab, like it's the sauce for me. Like they have sauce, it's saucing. This, as y'all can see, it wasn't saucing. Like it was just kind of giving dry rub seasoning and I need like a sauce. So we are definitely doing a rock and crab video for sure in Dallas. Maybe we'll do it on one of our errand days, but stay tuned. That rock and crab video is coming for the most part. Shreve for it, it was up. I had fun. Louisiana is a good little kiki, especially if you're in Dallas. It's like a two, two and a half hour drive, so it's super close. Um, y'all got the casinos out here, y'all got everything out here, like. Tree part was lit. I have fun, but I'm gonna get back on the road, baddies. We're going back to Dallas tonight. Home sweet home. I cannot wait to see the inside of my bed because when I tell you, I am going to be, and I currently am very tired. Like, okay, nobody compare the baddie crew to the goof troops. Every Thursday it goes up, and I'm gonna see y'all next week. Peace. Baddies, baddies, baddies. Yeah. We're nine to five, putting in overtime.